I need to see some ID. Get on the ground. Get on the ground now. We're trying not to hear a cop. You have an No what the way. Let's you? get your f my head up. What? What am I? Ow! Hey! Don't start resisting. Hey. Oh. Wait a second! Wait a second! Being a police officer means meeting almost every type of person. From entitled professionals who think they're above the law, to real crooks who pretend they don't know what they did wrong. I'm asking you, before I'm arrested, what have I been charged for? Get in the car. However, there are times when these cops must deal with someone unexpected. And when I say unexpected, I'm talking about FBI agents who like to power trip and use their badges to bypass fellow law enforcement officers who are trying to arrest them. I'm with you guys, for Christ's sake. I'm a federal agent. Sadly for them, they're often unsuccessful, just like these FBI agents who were caught red-handed. I think it's safe to say that lying doesn't help and only makes things worse. This FBI agent learned that the hard way after he tried to cover up his intoxication only to have his alcohol-smelling breath give him away. On March 9, 2022, police responded to a suspicious car stopped in the middle of the road. While the initial interaction was calm, things escalated after the cop found loopholes in his narrative. What's up, buddy? Everything okay? Yeah, everything's good. I what just, happened? Uh, waited about 45 minutes. Uh, tire blew out. Uh -huh. and How'd the tire blow out? I just took a little curve right there, and that's it. Yeah. Oh, when you came yep. out of the rental yep. car? Yeah. Okay, so you were driving this car. Yep. Nobody else was driving. Nope. Okay. I got you, and you just landed. Well, no, this uh, rental car just didn't move anymore. So. No, I'm saying you just landed at. Yeah. DFW? Uh, yeah, DFW, yeah. Oh, okay. Where'd you come in from? Uh, from uh, Omaha. You need to see EMS? Do you need the paramedic? No. no. no? Good. Cool. Yeah. Okay. What uh, what time did you have your first alcoholic beverage tonight? I did not have any alcohol. No. Okay. Okay, let's stop for a minute. This is where the trouble started. After being asked whether he was drunk or not, the agent, later identified as Victor, insisted that he was more than sober. Notice how he even looks at the officer's eyes when he denies the accusation? Sadly, despite how hard he tried to sound convincing, the smell of alcohol coming from him whenever he speaks reveals the truth. And it's enough for the cop on the scene to confirm that this is not just a simple case of a tire blowing up. Okay, well I can smell it on your breath as you're talking yeah, to him, man. No, it's fine, yeah. Okay, what time did you have your first drink? Drink at. I didn't have any drinks. You didn't? No. Were you drinking rubbing alcohol? No. No? Okay. Well, I could smell it, so, and I'm fairly confident it's not him, and I'm fairly confident it's not him, Okay. and it's not me, Okay. and I'm pretty good at what I do. I'm not, I'm not just like some rookie here. Me okay. either. Yeah. So, you're speaking with a, a little bit of a thick tongue. I can smell alcohol, okay? okay. So, so, saying that you did it, you can have a couple beers and you can drive. None says you can't, right? Right. Just says that we can't be intoxicated, okay? Correct. So, with that being said, what time did you have your first drink tonight, bud? I didn't have any drinks tonight. Okay. Yeah. Well, cool. Good deal. What time did your flight land tonight? Uh, around 11.30. Around 11.30? Yeah. Where'd you fly in from? Omaha. Omaha, Nebraska? Yeah. Were you out there for work or for? Work. Yep. Okay. That's why I called national three times, four times. Why did you call the police? Well, I called national. That's what we're supposed to do with these cars, right? Right, but so. you just said you didn't want to endanger anybody. Right. If you're in the middle of the road, one, you had an accident. Well, Two, was, you're was, in the roadway. Well, it wasn't an accident because I just, the tire blew out. But. Well, how did, how did the tire blow? I don't know. You think you struck it or? I don't know. Struck the curb? Since the conversation was getting nowhere, the officers decided it's better to see the damage for themselves. As soon as they saw the front of the car, it was clear that the agent was lying about his tire. He obviously hit a curb, which sent his car spiraling in the middle of the road. When confronted with that fact, he starts getting defensive. Do you see any strikes anywhere? Oh yeah, you can see where he hit the curb. Oh yeah. Well, like right up he jumped the back there at that rain gutter, because uh -huh. he rode the dirt all the way. Oh, he did? We're back there about where the sewer is. Okay. I'm gonna go back there and just redirect traffic coming out. Yeah, they're gonna have to back up. So you definitely hit a curb. So, well, whatever it was right here. I yeah. Mean, well, no, you can see the point of impact on the 
yeah, on the rim. Whatever you want to believe. Yeah. It's not what I want to believe. Well, uh, it's called observation. You can see where you I'm an where know, you struck the curve. I, I, I'm an okay. Engineer. Well, let's go look at it. I really don't need to, but all right, we're gonna walk front. So, what do you think caused that right there? That tire? Right here, where the tire exploded out. And the big chunks missing, and the rims busted. Have you ever hit a curb before? Huh? Have you had hit a curb before? Yeah, that's my point. Is when you were driving, you struck the curb. Okay. That's what I said earlier, and you said it was a blowout. Well, I, that's what I thought it was. Okay. Well, now you see it wasn't just a blowout, right? Well, I don't know. I, uh, didn't, I didn't look at okay. anything. I, I was right there. We'll walk over here. My bag. Okay. With a possible drunk agent in front of him, the police officer the police attempted officer to conduct a DUI right? test. However, Victor refused. This is another red flag, so the police are left with no choice but to arrest him. And based on his reaction, the agent was not very happy about it. So much so that he decided to put up a fight. Okay. Are you refusing all standardized field sobriety? Yep. All right, well, go ahead and put your feet together here to heel, toe to toe. I'm not going to do anything. Okay, go ahead and put your feet together here to heel. do that. Okay, you refuse to do that? I refuse to do everything. Okay, go ahead and stand down here for me. I'm going to give you the instructions for the walk and turn. I'm not going to do any walk and turn. You're not gonna do the walk and turn? Okay. So if whenever I have available, then I So whenever I tell you to, you're gonna magic. Okay, well I'm gonna demonstrate and then you can tell me from there if you're gonna do it or not. I'm not gonna do anything. Okay, good deal. Put your hands behind your back. Okay. What am I being arrested for? I said put your hands behind your back. No, what? Hey, what what am I Ow! Hey. Don't start resisting. Hey. What am I being arrested for? Don't start for? resisting. What am I Do being not start what resisting. Put your hands behind no. your back. Tell me. Wow. Wow. You on, you on I'm going to I'm going to tase you if you do not put your hands behind your back. What am I being arrested for? I will explain that to you when you put your hands behind your back. After the commotion had calmed down, Victor continued to deny doing anything wrong. He even laughed at the cops for allegedly using too much force despite his innocence. Too bad for him, the cops were not convinced. Hey, 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 Just relax. Is it because I'm Mexican? Relax. Hey, come on, guys. Move I on. didn't do anything wrong. I did nothing wrong. Just relax. Yeah. All right, I got all on film. Don't worry. Thank you. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. Six yeah, cops for this, really? Yeah, we're good. I did nothing wrong. You're under arrest for John Juan intoxicated. Stand up. Oh wait, how stand up. Come on. Stand up. Hey, 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 hey. But no. when you don't want to cooperate and you no, start no, no, resisting, no, no, no. bro, that's no, what no, happens. No, 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 no. You all dropped me to the floor. 48, we're good. 48, we're good. I yeah. wasn't driving. You resisted, did bro. You, did you see me driving? I'm not worried about that. Did you see me driving? I'm not worried about that, bro. Did Bubba. you see me driving? Hey, did you right, see me hey. driving? Remember what you said earlier? Your hey. lawyer ain't here? Stop talking, okay. bro. Okay, well, go ahead and call my lawyer then. Nope. I'm not okay. calling anybody. You know what you just did, right? Yeah. Okay, good. Thank you. Stop moving. Thank you for that. 48 is one person to do. I did nothing wrong. I was standing right there in the middle of the road. What did I do? Did you see me driving? I'm not talking to you. Did you see me driving? I'm not talking to you no more. Did you see me driving? Good. You got a lawyer. Take it up with your lawyer, bro. Good. Did you see me driving? Was I driving? Let's go. Was I driving? Over that way. Was I driving? At one point, he started yelling at the officer who was reading him his rights. Basically, he was insisting that he couldn't be arrested because he was not driving the vehicle when the police arrived at the scene. However, this doesn't work with the cops, who refuse to answer his dumb questions. Because one, there's no way the car drove itself in the middle of the road. And two, he already admitted he was driving when the cops asked him earlier. What am I being charged for? Wait, I, no, I'm asking you, before I'm arrested, what am I being charged for? Get in the car. What am I being charged for? Get, in the, Get in the car or it's going to become resisting. What am I being Get charged for? Get in the car. You're under arrest for driving while intoxicated. You're not listening. Oh, whoa. whoa. I'm bumping wow. that side. I'm bumping uh, that side. Wow. <laughs> Sit up. What am I being charged for? Sit up. Okay, so what am I being arrested for? I have a right to know. 
two legs together. I am not consenting to You're under arrest for an offense rising out of acts alleged to have been committed while operating what? a motor vehicle in a public place or a watercraft while intoxicated. I was not driving. Or an offense under section 106.041 no, alcoholic no, 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 beverage no. code. No, no, no. You'll be asked to give a specimen of your breath and or blood. The specimen will be analyzed to determine the alcohol concentration. So, or the presence of a controlled substance. When you arrived, drug, where was I? Dangerous drug or where other substance I? in your body. What? Where was if I? If you, you refuse arrived? to give the specimen, that refusal may be admissible in a subsequent where prosecution. Where was I when you arrived? Your license, permit, or privilege to operate a motor vehicle will be suspended or denied for not less than 180 I'll call my days. Attorney, but whether or not you are subsequently prosecuted for this offense. If you refuse to submit to taking of a specimen, the officer may apply Where for a warrant. Where was I when I, authorizing when I arrived? Authorizing a specimen to be taken from you. Was I you. driving? If you are 21 years of age was or I older, driving? and submit to taking of a specimen. Can you answer me a question? And then also the specimen shows that you have an alcohol concentration of 0.08 or more. Was I driving? Your license, permit, was I driving? or privilege to operate a motor vehicle was will be suspended or denied for an hour or 90 days. Whether or was not you are subsequently prosecuted for this offense. If you're younger than 21 years of age and have any detectable amount of alcohol in your system. But the tension between the two further escalated when Victor tried to step out of the police car, leading the cops to drag him back to safety inside the vehicle. Maybe a little too forceful, but they had to do what they had to do. No, 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 no. Uh, 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 in the beginning, it. Ow! Move. Hey, 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 hey. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey! What's that button for? You're not going to sit here and play. Hey! Hey! Whoa! Hey! hey. Get back in the vehicle. Get back in the vehicle. Ow! Well, what is this for? Get up. Where was get I? Up. Get now. back in the vehicle now. Hey. Get in the vehicle. Hey, hey you are. This I'm is not right. right. No! This is not right! No! Wow! Ow! Ow! <laughs> you! Look at this! Say that. Ow! You're in my f***ing arms! Don't push the door. No, 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 no. I want my door now. No, I want my Lord now! The drive to the police station sounded like a broken record as the agent repeatedly asked the police in front why he was being arrested, despite the cops explaining it multiple times already. So either he was really drunk or had short-term memory. Either way, it's too late to get out of trouble now. Can you tell me what I'm being arrested for again? You're going to arrest for drama intoxicated as well. When as did you see me driving though? I don't care, bro. Okay. Resisting arrest and right. Transport. I wasn't driving when he saw me, did you? Did you see That's me driving? What for, bro. Did you see me driving? That's what courts for. I'm done okay. talking with you, man. Cool. So how's it DWI if you didn't see me driving? You didn't, right? Nope. You didn't. I was in the middle of the median with my bags. Thank you. The only person that's going to have shit is you. I must admit, putting the volume up for that cover of Misery Business was such a satisfying way to shut him up. But guess what? It didn't stop him for long. After realizing his initial tactics weren't working, he decided to get more creative and claimed he had COVID-19. Sadly, that also didn't work well, and he was still brought to the police station for investigation. You got COVID? Uh, I don't know. Okay. Had it. Right what am I being arrested for again? Hard explaining to him. Well, no, I want to know. I want to know what I'm being arrested for. Explaining it to you again. Okay, so talk to my lawyer then. Can I have my lawyer? Can I have my lawyer? 98 one. Uh, not sure on COVID, he said, and uh, we're downloaded. I have COVID. Okay. All right. Don't change. Though. Well, I had it. Okay. Cool. Weeks ago. Okay. Cool. Soon after, the agent's demeanor worsened. He became more entitled as he talked to the cops. This became more evident when he was taken to the hospital for a blood test. From wanting his handcuffs removed to lecturing the cops about how the rules supposedly work, this guy is determined to act as superior as he can despite his current situation, which by the way is only getting worse. Do I need handcuffs? What's that? Do I need handcuffs? Yeah. Okay. This search warrant says we're taking the blood. That's up to you and Judge Wayland, your attorney and Judge Wayland. Okay. But well, we're taking your blood before we leave her, okay? Okay, so, well, it doesn't have to be right now, then. And wait yeah, until it's I, happening. Until my attorney gets here. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. You can refuse. You're right. I can refuse, and I want. But my, it's happening. Well, I can refuse. It's happening. Well, not right now. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. Yeah. No. That's that's not how this process works, Bubba. It's not how okay, this process well, works. I mean, I don't care. So. You know, but I need my treatment too, and as far as my blood pressure. Medication, right now, this is what we're work. This so, is what we're dealing with. So it's my not other much. health is not. 
right now this is what we're dealing with. Let's see. I guess you don't understand HIPAA rules. No. No, you don't. Not, not my job to understand HIPAA rules. Well, maybe she should, and that be, they will as well too, and Joint Commission rules. Cool. Cool. Well, like yeah. I said, that's a good argument for when you go to court. I will. Yeah, when you tackled me, I hope that it's on camera too. It was all on camera. Perfect. Every bit of it. Beautiful. I have a warrant that was signed by Judge Whalen, okay? So, let, not, not, you're not you're not listening if you're talking, okay? You can't talk and listen at the same time, okay? I have a warrant that was signed by the judge, okay? That warrant is happening before we leave here right now, okay, bud? So, one way or another, listen, no, 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 you're already trying to talk. I didn't say a word. You're already trying to talk. You're already, like, you're getting ready. I took a deep breath. So, I'm going to tell you this. It sucks if we have to draw that, that blood with you still in the handcuffs, okay? I understand your rights, I understand all those things, and you've expressed what your rights are, Correct. okay? But what I'm telling you right now is, is it's gonna happen, okay? So we can pull the cuffs off of you, and you can allow this gentleman to do the blood draw, and it, it's a, a lot less painless, or we leave the cuffs on. Wait till you hear what he said next. After refusing to get his blood taken, the agent started power tripping, mentioning how they provide federal funding to hospitals like the one he's in at the moment. He even emphasized what a big deal it is, as if implying he's a big shot himself. Rights have been violated. Okay, as well. perfect. So you've you expressed want to continue, that. You've you expressed can continue, that. Are you are you going to allow him? Will. Are you okay? That's fine. I understand it's against your will. Are you going to allow him to draw your blood? I will not allow him to draw okay. blood. Okay, then we'll keep the cuffs on. That's fine. Yeah. I do work with Joint Commission, so. <laughs> so it, we, we accredit hospitals. Hospital, yeah. So we provide federal funding for them. So, big deal. But, it's fine. Accreditation, yeah, so it's a big deal for us. Like, but, we spend weeks and weeks and weeks getting the ER and the whole hospital set up. Just like you all have accreditation kind of things that you do, well, we, we do that on, on the hospital side. But that's fine. I know I'm in within my rights, and I know what my HIPAA rights are as well, and I know what my... You're not getting your attorney. Okay. It's... It, it, well, we're going to say... Hey, Victor's not getting his attorney. Okay. Now everybody knows that, that you would, you tried to... You wanted it and you got denied. Okay. okay? Yeah. I, so I was refused. It's happening. Counsel. Let's take the in cuffs general, off. I Let's take the cuffs counsel. off and get this done. No, I was asked for I asked for counsel at the beginning before you okay. even Sorry, put on the I tried. Why don't you drink water? You were in a jail cell. Where was the water? There's water there's a water spigot in your cell, bro. Uh, I drink bottled water. I don't drink oh, water. you don't drink? I don't uh, they didn't give you fault. They gave you uh, a lot water, nothing. In the end, Victor was charged with DWI and resisting arrest. However, we'll never know whether he was given a water bottle or not. Most of the time, we hear stories of civilians getting detained for no reason at all. But there are also cases where FBI agents are mistaken for civilians pretending to be a part of law enforcement. In this next case, federal agent James Burke experienced a not-so-nice encounter with his fellow authorities. The Columbus Police Department received a signal from a 911 dispatcher of a person impersonating a police officer and otherwise getting up to no good in Dublin, Ohio. A few minutes later, officers Fahey and Winchell arrived at the scene and ordered Agent Burke to show his hands and provide his ID. Burke sounded confused as he should upon seeing the police officer was pointing a weapon towards him. Hey, turn around, let me see your hands. Turn around, let me see your hands. Okay, let me see your hands. I need to see some ID. Get on the ground! Get on the ground now! Get on the ground! Get on the ground now! I'm a federal agent. 9171 10 3. I'm a federal agent. Get on the ground! 10 3. Get on the ground. I'm a federal agent. I'm Why wouldn't you show agent. me your ID when I got here? Don't move forward. Okay. forward. You didn't ask for it. He is at 33. Get on the ground. We'll figure it out. On that 10 Not getting on the ground. Well, then stay where you're at. I'll stay where I'm at. Fine. Why do you got to make this harder than it is? Listen, I'm not getting. I have no, I have no if problem making this. I just want to see if anybody has some free to respond as well. You're the one overreacting. I'm not overreacting. We got a call that someone's impersonating a police officer out here and doesn't no, have ID. No, no kidding, because she doesn't want to open it. Okay, get on the ground so I can find out who you are. It ain't happening. Okay, fine. It's not happening. 
Fine. Upon realizing there's no way James will get on the ground, another police officer tries his luck, this time with more authority. James seemed to notice that the police were not backing down and that he would definitely get in trouble if he didn't follow directions. So he eventually got on the ground, but things didn't end there. While telling them where his ID was, James was forcefully pinned to the pavement. He was even tased by the police, despite telling them that he had a medical condition, which was crazy. Get on the ground! I'm not getting on the ground! I'm not getting on the ground! I'm not getting on the ground! I got my ID! Do not reach for your waist! Keep your hands up! Dude, why would I have an Oleg shit? Get your hands up! Yeah. Get on the, on the ground! Face down! Now! Face down! You guys are making a big mistake. Fuck you are the one making down. a mistake! Face down! Now! All the way down! All the way! All the way! You got my IDs right here, left pocket. Left and pocket. And we're gonna put your arm on your back. Wait a sec. Do not resist. I'm not resisting. You're acting like a no, moron. Wait a second. Stop. Wait a second. Wait a second. No, don't do this. Wait a second. I got a medical condition. Get my license out of my pocket. Get me up. No, you're going to stay on the ground and put the right arm behind your back. Let me breathe. Let me breathe. You can I'm breathe. Gonna, just fine. I'm going to. Oh, oh, don't do that. Okay. Yeah. Get, him cuffed. Get him cuffed. It is tough. Get him cuffed. Get, Get him cuffed. Get him cuffed. Get him cuffed. Right, job on that Wait a second. Good job, Sir, please help me up. Please. Get this kid. I'm a federal agent. My God, my God. My you God. have no idea what you are acting the way you are. Sir! Who the heck do you think you are acting like this? Somebody! I wanted you to see my goddamn head! The lady was freaking out, for Christ's sake! You know if you have interaction with the police, you obey commands! Sir, I was trying to- No, get you didn't obey any commands! Sir, I'm with you guys, for Christ's sake! I'm a fucking federal agent! Who's your supervisor? What's Woo, his name? Hang, What's your supervisor's name? Hang on a second, the sack? It's currently John McPherson, who's on his way out to retire, who will soon be rolling. I took the mag out. My God! This is crazy! You ought to be ashamed of yourself! Sir. After the agent was pulled up, he was dragged to the police vehicle despite his resistance. James still insisted that he was just trying to do his work and complained about having a hard time breathing as he was pushed inside the vehicle. This again heightened the tension between him and the police as he did not want to be seated inside the car. He was being pulled in from the other side and got entangled with the seatbelt, which turned into a heated argument between the parties. It's a pretty chaotic scene to watch. Get in the car! Get in the car! Sir, please, get in. Sir, I'm just trying to get my Just get in the car! Why would you make us do this? I didn't want you to. I wanted to. Wait. No, you knew what sir, you were doing. Sir, sir, calm down. Relax. Hold sir. Hey, guys, please, just talk to me for one second, please. Get in the car. No, we'll wait. talk later. Sir, wait, wait. You wait. had your chance. No, I was trying to give you my credge. You no, didn't let me show him to you. never once tried. I did. Get wait. in the car. Wait, wait. Now. Have a seat. Please. Wait, I got to breathe. Okay, please, you sir, can let me breathe. sit down and breathe. Let me breathe. I, got, I have a medical condition. We're going to get air to you. Get no, your legs no. in. Get your sir. legs in. We're closing this door. Sir, get your legs in. I need air. Sir, please call an ambulance. I'm asking for an ambulance. You got a medic coming. Get in the car. Sir, I don't need the medic. The, the taser didn't bother. You just said call an ambulance. We don't. I, I, yeah, now you don't want one. Get in the car. In the car. Get all the way in. I can't breathe. Wait, sir. Yeah, if you got double cars close, keep them coming. We can't happen? get them in the car. Okay, okay, okay. You're an idiot. We're crying out loud. You're a cop. You're not an ass. No what the way! I can't. You? You're fucking my head up. The seatbelt's in place. Please. Yeah, we're all about 161 Why would you act like this? I didn't act anyway. Please, sir. If you are a real police officer, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. I was trying to give you my creds. The guns up. Sir, I'm trying to give you my. Put this on your dash. Dude, he wouldn't do anything I'm trying to tell him. As James was completely secured inside the car, a resident who witnessed everything that happened approached the cops and asked them what really occurred. And if you think everything had subsided, James decided to shout at the officers from inside the vehicle, trying to tell them what they did wrong. The officers say that even though James might be a real cop, it's his fault he did not have his badge out in the first place. It's Dublin. You know? 
Yeah. We got him in the car. He might even be a real um, cop, but he wouldn't tell us, wouldn't, wouldn't do anything, um, wouldn't get on the ground. I mean, what the, the heck? The cruiser will go ahead and clear. Um, you bet. I don't believe they're looking for anybody else. We yeah. had to taser him, so we got a medic coming. Yeah, we that 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 well, that's what we thought, but then he wouldn't get in the car. Trying to get in one of these houses? If he is an actual police officer, he ought to be ashamed of himself. Sir, I'm not ashamed. I'm to... You're not. You're right. You're not. Yeah. No, you screwed up, you bet. First thing he should have had his badge is that when I got here. Wouldn't get on the ground, wouldn't comply with anything. Yeah, yeah, the whole time. I think so, we ought to get him as a witness, yeah. Hey, will you get his information? He's a, you saw everything, right? Thank you. I'm gonna just put this stuff on your hood. They continued to shout at each other, but the other officer stopped his partner, advising him not to engage in James's banter any further. Backup then arrived, and the officers explained what had just unfolded and how they needed to use their taser to handcuff James. No, you never, no. It's all on video. Don't even argue with him, just, just let him yell. Just let him yell. We get a drink of water. Right. Yeah, we had to use the taser just to drive stun. Okay. But he's got a medic. He says he's got some condition. He may even really be a police officer. He's got a badge, but he wouldn't do anything. Wouldn't get on the ground. I told him over and over to get on the ground. He wouldn't okay. comply with anything. We had to tase him. Right. He fought with us the whole time. Wouldn't get in the car. If he is a real police you officer. Anything? No, we're not. Okay. Okay. No, I do got him. Yeah. All right. Yeah. While the other Columbus police officers talked to James in the car, the others were discussing how strong he was. Well, you can see that during the arrest, he did give the two officers a hard time cuffing his hands. An officer later announced that the lady who called 911 on the agent was a wife of someone who had just purchased a shotgun. That's why an agent was dispatched to their house, just to follow up on that purchase. Well, I guess James is indeed a real agent after all. You got the camera going? Yeah. Yeah, we actually came together, you knocked mine off. I saw yours go flying, I wasn't sure it was. Mine should be still working. Got my damn taser. That's oh. why I told you to go for yours. Okay. I was thinking we were going to get him, but that was the only way to get him. That we had to tase him. That was the only way to get him cut. He was strong. So his supervisor is going to need to come to see him. After the way he acted, it's all on video. He's got a good looking back. He very, he very well may be. But you know what? When a Columbus police officer, yeah. Buddy, you're good. You're good. Don't worry about it. I know, I know. I get it. He remarked it. He said over and over, "I'm not getting on the ground. I will not." I'm like, okay. That's not how this works. I said, you do. You obviously don't know what's going on then. If he's here to work a warrant by himself, there's something strange about that too. Something about it. I got her wife, her husband bought a shotgun or something. He was here to follow up on some shotgun purchase. Yeah. I don't know if he's the or CP, I don't know. Who knows? The witness later confirmed that he saw everything and was willing to testify. Then the officers approached the lady who called 911 and asked her what happened. She claimed that James knocked on their door and insisted she open it up, which she declined. Her kids then started crying because they were scared, and James just continued knocking, telling them he would stay at their front door until night if she did not open up. You got witnesses info. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. You want to hang out? Sergeant might want to have more. Hang out yeah. If you will hang out, the sergeant may want to talk to you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. You saw everything, right? Are you guys the ones that originally called? Yeah, yes. Okay. What What did he say to you when he was talking to you? I have to open the door because he's a police. I tell him I can't open the door because my husband. Our officers on the edge, bro. We were finally and, able to. Uh, he said you have to open, open the, door. the door. I tell him I'm yeah, sorry, I can't. Um, stay with my kids. My kids start to crying because they they afraid. And okay. I tell him. You did have he ever to try to? Pray. Did he ever try and break the door or anything like that? Yes, he is still knock and he say I will stay here until evening if you don't open okay. the door because you okay. are layer. Okay. Very good. There's a chance the sergeant might want to talk to you, so thank you very much. Okay, good. Thanks, Dee. Later on, the witness once again went to the police, telling them they did a good job responding to the resident's call. Sure, 
It's crazy to have some unknown man knock at your door out of nowhere. And it's also understandable why the lady was frightened as James came unannounced. But it didn't erase the fact that James was indeed just doing his job. It was later learned that James had his badge inside his shirt the whole time. Well, it might have been a more pleasant encounter if it had been on display. I want to tell your supervisor what a nice job. Thank you. Did. Thank and you. I got to tell him. Okay. You know, Very when good. They, the people have complained, they complain. But when they got to appreciate that we never you do. sure try. That's the sergeant. If you want to go and see if he can talk yeah. to you, you can. It's up to you. Yeah. I he may wait till he's ready. Yeah, but. I agree. Thank you so did much. He, have gone to he did have a gun, yes. Oh. He very well may be a real police officer, but he wasn't following protocol. Yep. I doubt it very much. Yep. I doubt it very much if he's a police officer. Thank I you. you. Thank you. No way. Thank you. Oh, that sure would have made it easier. Well, I don't know if I'd have reached for it. I didn't even realize I had it on. But so, I can't. You want me to turn the yeah, camera off? Let's turn our camera off. Agent James was later released without charges. But months after the encounter, he sued the cops who arrested him. Our next story is similar to the last one, as these officers were entirely convinced that the person they stopped for an obstructed plate number was an FBI impersonator. On April 22, 2022, Deputy Francisco Torres of the Carson City Sheriff's Office stopped and arrested the alleged impersonator named Anton Nyaganov. He was intercepted by the officers due to an issue with the plate number on the back of his car. When asked if he's a part of law enforcement, Anton denied this. But what's interesting is that the officers found an FBI badge and ID, which Anton claimed to be his. So you're not a, like, law enforcement, right? You're not a law enforcement officer? Yeah. Huh? What? Yeah, you a cop? Yeah, I know. Okay, so you say you work security, yeah. right? I'm a, I'm a security contract. Copy. Whose car is it? It's my view. Who? My view. Awesome. So I'm going to put these on for now, okay? All right. Uh, Wouldn't relax. Yeah. Why haven't you taken the lights off of there? Yeah, I do contract work, so I have to have lights on this vehicle for some of the work. They shouldn't be that color, though. Yeah, they shouldn't be red and white, brother. Yeah, it depends on who you're contracting with. If you contract with law enforcement agencies, it's different. Which agencies do you contract with? The various ones. DOJ. Name some. A DOJ. Sure. So you have DHS? a contract. I've worked for DHS. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. do you have a government ID? I have a contractor ID. Yeah. Where's that? It's in my. Uh, it's my head. Where'd you get this? That's issue two. Issue two? Federal Bureau of Investigation badge? Let me, I'm gonna read you your rights too, okay? Sure. The officers continued to question Anton and asked for his federal credentials. The police were obviously taken aback by Anton's response. One of the police then informed Anton that if he was indeed impersonating a cop, he would surely suffer grave circumstances. Hey, so uh, since you got the badge, where's your creds at? Where's your federal creds at? I don't need federal creds because I'm not currently employed by the federal government. You have an FBI badge? Sure, yeah. Okay, I used to be a task force officer okay. with the FBI. Okay, which task force? Safe streets? Yeah. Okay. Right. You ever work for them? <laughs> so you know Elkington? No. Okay. So when did you work for them? I might answer that. Okay. Well, I'm texting somebody right now. Okay. If you impersonate a federal officer, you know you're going to get in big trouble for that, right? Okay. Right. And like I said, with the red and blues, <laughs> that alone right there, okay? Sure. That's what you're... you're that, that, but that's not, that's not an offense in and of itself, man. Yes, it is. I don't want to show you the NRS. You have to actually you show you. Them. No, you don't. They're in your vehicle, and I must destroy those. Okay? I'm going to pull up the NRS for you. I went through a okay? peace officer cap. You might again, but I went have through Have they updated the, the NRS? I'm going to show you. Have they? Okay. Anton was then led to the back of the police vehicle, but before the officer closed the door, he informed Anton that he already contacted a special agent and was able to confirm that Anton was a fraud. Right, this is your personal view. It's registered to you. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I mean, it says right here on the... I have, my own, I have multiple, my own multiple companies. Yep. But that's, that's your own personal... Yeah, sure. understand, but that's your own personal vehicle. You're sure. not allowed to have 
red and blues on your personal vehicle. Yeah, That's against not in your capacity. It's not, 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 not in the state of Nevada. In the state of Nevada. In the state of Nevada, you cannot have red and blues on your vehicle. All right. Okay. So, you see there for me. Yeah, so just talk to uh, Special Agent Taylor. He says you're bogus. Okay. They continued to examine Anton's belongings and were convinced that they were fake and that they might have been purchased from eBay. And at this point, both of them are sure that Anton is trying to impersonate a law enforcer. Said he's a hacker too. But yeah, that that right there. Do they rock those there? No. I don't think so. It looks like an eBay one or something. I worked at, or yeah, he, he recognized me when I would do like bank presentations at Harris, stuff like that. Try to drop that one on me, but I was like, no, nah, man, I'm still not. This might be some like. gonna go check on that house too. This this is no good. I mean, he's got the lights. This is like so porn. Yep. And then he's got a. Uh... And then how does he know about all the F you know that safe streets FBI? How, like how does he know all that stuff? Like, he's an impersonator, so yeah. he wants to sound legit. Yep. This is probably worked for him. Yep. Oh yeah. This I is think so. This with... has worked for him mm -hmm. with the red and blues. We're gonna take that shit out of there though. Yep. It's gone. The NRS says we can. That's evidence. The, yep. Just like a scene in a movie, other police officers arrived at the scene and were quite amused upon seeing Anton's badge and ID. And just like the first officers who responded, they also shared the idea that Anton was a fake cop and that there's no way he's legit. See this shit? Yeah, well, on Monday I'll go in there. He was running around with red and blues, and fake a a FBI that badge. Oh. Is, he a, is he, uh, yeah, so, does he work for yep. State of Nevada? I got the number. That's a federal crime. Yeah. You able to right, check brother, that? I'll give you a yeah, call. I call man. Yeah, I got it. I'll tell you about this one. I see it. All right, bro. Take care. Who is this fool? Gun two or no? We haven't looked yet. I, I got to check, yeah. Red, but check this out, too. I think he's red, got a, red lights on. Yep, red, red and blue. He you? No, no. So I found that once once he was outside. I saw the red and blues. Oh, he has red and blues? Yeah. He said They're he going in the front, but yeah, hit the backs, man. Yeah. It seemed that the officers just couldn't get over the fact that Anton was carrying all that fake stuff with him. You can actually hear the amusement in the officers' voices while they talk about the whole situation. That might be legit. <laughs> oh, it says contract. Yeah. Oh, this one's legit too. Yeah. <laughs> he said that was issued to him when he was a contractor. There's no number on the back of it. That's I just, I just hit up uh, Special Agent Taylor. He's like, is it, if there's no number on the back of it, that's fake. He checked him out. No. He checked him out. He's like, yeah, fake. Bogus. Oh, damn. He is a state of Nevada employee. Oh, yeah? Fired. So not. Yeah, he is. As what? It does like not though. I can't, I have to look at the plus. Oh, he's a security guard. Yeah, it's just like an unarmed security guard. He had, he had tape, he had this tape over that. Yeah, and, I and I just peeled, yeah. And I just peeled it. Yeah, I hold on, I can find out where he is. I got how much he made. Oh my god. This guy's a COT. What's that? Correctional officer training. Not anymore. <laughs> All right, let me talk to these in here. Yeah. While the police were trying to confirm Anton's ID, other cops found more interesting things in the trunk of Anton's car, one of which is an officer jacket, which to be exact, is a fugitive recovery jacket. And things get more interesting as they continue the search. If you think that an officer's jacket's interesting, well, the police also found SIM grenades and body armor stored inside Anton's trunk. Good stop, Franny. Yeah. This guy's out up to no yeah. good. Yeah. 
Look at this. Look at that. What's that? What the? Yeah, don't touch those. Yeah. I mean, he's got a fugitive, fugitive recovery agent jacket. Um, he's got, look, looks like some, they're probably SIM grenades. I can't tell right now. Um, body armor. He's got, we're looking. I can't believe I haven't found it yet. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, as soon as they get here, I'll let them in. All right, Mike. Bye. The sheriff's officer again went to Anton, asking him about the grenades inside the vehicle. Anton looked perplexed, and it seemed like he had no idea that having such dangerous explosives with him was pretty much illegal. Hey man, what's up with the flash grenades? Flash grenades? Yeah. What about flash grenades? What? What's up with them? What are you doing with them? Don't want to? Huh? What the ones on the ground in the ammo can. That's... No? No? no. Yeah? What? What, what, no, what? What, what, how, what does that matter to you? What, what, flash, what are you saying? Flash grenades? Those are airsoft grenades. Those aren't flash grenades. They say flash grenades on them. Those are not flash grenades. Those are legal uh, explosives. They they're purchase. legal explosives? They're legal explosives. Absolutely. You can, anybody can purchase this. You can get those right now. Anywhere. After consulting with different officers from other stations, they also checked for any criminal records Anton might have. But surprisingly, he only had a couple of juvenile and felony offenses, which were not that serious. No, hey, did you run him yet? I did. Did you come back? Clear. Clear. Um, no criminal history. I ran a QH back when he was a juvenile. He had like, he has, he's got a couple felonies for like terrorized, terrorized threats. Terrorized threats. Some civil. ADW. Yeah. ADW. So. Did you see the guy? I mean, it's juvenile stuff, but... Hey, Monroy, can you have dispatch run uh, this guy through all the local departments, see if he's been stopped before doing this crap? It was later learned that Anton Iaganov was a DOJ official who was just doing his work. But if you don't properly answer basic questions about your identity, you'll surely end up like Agent Anton, even though you might be a legit law enforcer. These days, everybody has a right to be cautious, and so were these police officers. Cops are very familiar with drivers swerving all over the road and driving under the influence. But there are also times when they find fellow law enforcement officers behind the wheel. Just this thing happened when the Cleveland Police Department received a call from a concerned citizen about a vehicle they were following. Apparently, it was driving in a concerning manner and was going off the right of way. The driver, Agent Brad, was later pulled over and the police officers approached the car for investigation. It appears that Brad is under the influence of drugs or alcohol. Hey Brad, what's up? Hey, how are you? Good. Hey, we got a call on you, bud. For what? Uh, did somebody wake you up in a parking lot? No. Okay. You didn't have words with somebody? No. Okay. Um, and then we actually got a call from the, the truck behind you that you were kind of all over the road. No, I mean, I'm just going home. Okay. So, yeah. Did you drink anything today? No. You have anything to drink? No. I mean, I'm fine. Okay. Are you supposed to be driving, though? Yeah. I mean, I'm fine. I no, I mean, yeah. I mean, are you legally allowed to be driving? Correct. Are you suspended? Yes. No. Okay. No. Um, actually, I'm, uh... It's like for three months and then I'm good. Okay. For now. So. Okay. Um, do you have your driver's license? Home. Yeah. I got you. Driver's license with the approved insurance. Yep. Oop. Where are you coming from then? Just to get a car for some. A car? Like a car. Oh, a car. An actual yeah, car. Yeah, an actual okay. car. Where was that at? It was at on tap. Okay. Was well, somebody selling a car there? Yep. They're going to drop it off. So. Okay. Do you have proof insurance with you too? Yep.
it's USAA, so. Okay. Yeah. After getting all the necessary licenses and registration, the officer went back to his backup and claimed that the driver was surely under the influence of something. He reiterated that the driver was slurring and even dropped his license in the process of finding it. But what's amusing is that they knew who Agent Brad was because he also got caught driving under the influence about four months ago. Yeah, he's slurring, he's dropped his license, he's chewing gum, uh, denied drinking anything, said he was on tap to. Didn't, ha didn't fall asleep, didn't have any disagreement with anybody, was at on tap to buy a car for summer, which I know is, is too dark. Yeah, um, somebody called from Sunoco, our station, and I don't know if it was the same guy that was following him or what, but I'll... I'll, uh, if you, if you don't, I'll do the test if you don't want to, but I know I'm just... It's fine. It, it no, well, it also just because I... I don't know. I don't mind. You're probably more. Yeah. It's fine. Hey, don't worry about it. Um, That's why I make the big bucks. Well, and and only because you're on nights more than I. Yeah. Was how's he and reacting to you? He's. I don't know if he knows who I am yet. He um, might not totally remember me because, I mean, we've gone to a couple of ground. I mean, yeah. So it is. Well, uh, if you wanna, you got his info and we'll. I can ask him to step out. Oh, okay. I don't mind. The two officers went back to the driver, asking him to step out of the vehicle. The officer asked Brad about any injuries that might hinder him while performing the test, and inquired once again if he'd had any drinks that day. Agent Brad denied it again, but this time with a hint of force. Would you do me a favor? Would you come on out? You don't have any weapons on you, do you? No. Okay. Come on out for me. I'm going to have you go to the front of the car back there. Oh, over this way, to the cruiser. Okay. Front of the cruiser for me. Yep. Okay. You wear those glasses all the time? You no, it's just for, like, reading. Okay. Would you do me a favor? You can either take your hat off or you can turn around backwards for me. Got it. Backwards works. Yep. Okay. Um, are you wearing contacts or anything right now? Nope. Are you seeing a doctor for anything? Nope. Good nope. to go. Nothing wrong with arm, back, legs, nothing like nope. that? Okay. Got it. How much you have drink tonight? Today, I should say. Done. Fine. That's fine. And how, you have, how much have you had to drink? No, none. Okay. I mean, After all the instructions, the sobriety test was administered, which the drunk agent failed miserably. His attempt to pass the walk and turn test is probably one of the funniest attempts I've seen so far. Despite the clear instructions, his heel never touched his toe, not even once. Any questions on that? I don't think so. Okay, if you do, go ahead and ask. I'm going to stand over here because these cars are getting a little close. Yep, they are. So go ahead and put your right foot in front of your left. Got it. Feet down at your side. One, two, three. Okay, good. At this point, the agent realized what's about to happen after he was instructed to put his hands behind his back. However, he was still confused as to why he was being arrested. The officer then informed him that there was a previous call of a driver who almost hit a mailbox, which might also be him. But the agent strongly denied the allegation. Right now, you're under arrest for operating a vehicle under the influence of alcohol, drugs, or a combination of them. Yeah. Somebody, you had, an, you had an incident with somebody up at Sunoco. They said I they woke you up. They followed you all the way here, unfortunately. So, uh, hold on, we're going back to the cruiser. They said you almost hit them with a, uh, hit a mailbox. Nope. Hold on, we're going to go all the way back to this one. Yep. Okay. Uh, have a seat in there. You can slide across. Oh. Thank you. After reading Brad's Miranda rights and securing him in the back of the police car, the officers then discussed the next steps they needed to take. They agreed on dividing the remaining task. They even run the agent's license on their system for any other violations they should know about. Um, so we're going to tow it. We get the plates. Um, 
can if you can handle that I'll take him back 25 and get through all the process if that's okay um, if by chance his code 40 is in there just let us know it, okay um, that's how it was when the SO got him I'm not saying he's lying to us but so is he actually under an ALS now? I didn't get to run him yet that's what I think he is that's what LT said so um, did you run him? Did it come back suspended? I, I didn't run him yet. I did. Okay, no, that's fine. Let's see here. Yeah, I, well, I, that's yeah, no, it's fine. But I heard it come out and I thought, okay. Well, I immediately went to LT. The drunk agent was then brought to the station and had his breath tested. It was determined that he was three times over the legal limit and would surely have to face the consequences. Hold that black part down here and take a breath and blow through there. And I'll tell you when to stop. Uh, there, good sound. Keep going. Keep going. It's going to feel like you're running out of air, and that's what the machine. There. You can have a seat on the bench, and I'll tell you what what it was as soon as it came out of the bench. <laughs> Actually, you can have that back. That's just your ID, your old ID card. I see they punched it at the BMV. To... is the legal limit. You're almost three times. Well, Agent Brad should really learn to control his alcohol intake, or else he might be seeing his buddies in the station once again next month. This shows that no one is above the law, even if you're a part of law enforcement. Even FBI agents are not immune to serving jail time. They might try to get away from their illegal activities, but they can never run away uncuffed. So hit that subscribe button and join me next time as we continue to explore the ins and outs of police encounters.